Possibly one of South Africa's most successful urban critters is the banded mongoose. Family-orientated little creatures, mongoose are lively and nimble. Notorious scavengers, they have no problem tipping over garbage bins and raiding kitchens. Craig Widows is a zoologist and a fan of the mongoose. So the diet in the wild, your, many of your mongoose species tend to folk be insectivorous, so primarily your small insects, um, small amphibians, mainly quite an open opportunistic diet, what they can, where they can get their, their, their paws on. But in urban environments, anything goes. Banded mongoose are 30 to 40 centimeters long with a 20 centimeter tail. They weigh anywhere between one and a half and two and a half kilograms. These cat-like creatures have coarse brown-gray fur with characteristic dark bands across their backs. In South Africa, we have quite a few mongoose species, nine species of mongoose. So you've got the water mongoose, white-tailed mongoose, slender mongoose, large gray mongoose, small gray mongoose, banded mongoose, and dwarf mongoose as well. So we are quite lucky in that regard. Banded mongooses live in groups of 10 to 20 individuals, but may include as many as 40. Others aren't as social. Other species like your slender mongoose and your marsh mongoose or your water mongoose that can be usually one individual alone or a breeding pair together. A family of banded mongoose visit Eugenie Page's garden in Hillcrest a few times a week. They're so gregarious, you know, they're just uh, uh, absolutely family orientated. If they come and feed off something, they go run back and feed the babies in the bush to ensure that they get food as well. After a two-month gestation, a banded mongoose gives birth to a litter of two or three young. A litter may be as large as six. Um, as far as the pups starting to forage, that would obviously depend also on your species, but uh, I'm confident with banded mongoose it could be slightly earlier as you've got more hands. It can all look rather frantic when watching a mongoose family on the move. It's just sort of a, a, um, a community moving out together. It's important just to make sure that you know where your youngsters are, as with all kids. It takes one to get a bit mischievous and then, yeah. But don't let these cute little faces fool you. Mongoose are wily predators when they want to be. Famously, some species of mongoose will boldly attack venomous snakes. This footage of a slender mongoose going up against a black mamba was taken by wildlife guide Gregory Coates while visiting the Kruger National Park recently. The mongoose darts and leaps around his dangerous opponent until the snake is exhausted and confused. Finally, the mammal goes in for the kill, biting the reptile behind the head and killing it. But as tough as they are, mongoose have a host of predators that like to hunt them. These include domestic dogs, cats, and birds of prey. It's a good thing they have such an effective sentry system and are vigilant to threats from all over. They tend to, to shy away from any contact um, with humans, but still in that regard, it wouldn't be advised to try to handle them or to corner any individual because they will respond in a negative way. Eugenie says she would rather leave them to their own devices and admire them from afar. You know, it's, it's like watching a, a movie with these uh, mongoose around you. I can't imagine living here without having them here. It, it is part what makes this place totally magical, really and truly. We are so blessed to have them around. So if you have mongooses living close by, remember no touching or feeding, but you are more than welcome to enjoy the amusing animal sideshow.